I think it's pretty safe to say that if you're planning any kind of epic road trip, Norway is the destination you should be putting top of your list. It is amazing. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the first and only time I get to start the vlog from a floating picnic bench. We've pulled in at a little place just outside Stavanger. We're on, oh crikey, we're on our way to one of Norway's most famous hikes. But we saw this little place on the way, there's a camper stop and it's just really cool and interesting. I am loving it. Also, how cool are these little sheds? I think they're little boat sheds because they've got like little brick jetties and I reckon the fishing boats live in there, but ideal home for Emily. But this is not what we pulled in to see. What we came to see is all the way up there. Fancy seeing you here. So this monument's called Sverd e Vald and it was unveiled by King Olaf V in 1983 and they stand a whopping 10 metres tall. They commemorate an historic battle that I cannot pronounce, so Louise will put it on the screen, in the year 872. These bronze swords now represent peace because they are put into solid rock and cannot be removed. And if you are passing the area, I definitely recommend stopping here because they're quite impressive, aren't they? Oh yeah, they are uh, a good little stop over here to come and have a look at for sure. And the water here is crystal clear. Yeah, pretty epic view, but for now, we're getting straight back on the road. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. So in Norway there are a lot of tunnels, essentially it's just a lot of like little islands that are all linked together via tunnels. I do not like tunnels and they are long, aren't they? It's just a tunnel. Emily wants to go on the longest tunnel in Norway, which is how long? About 15 miles. 15 miles! I get very claustrophobic. We've been in this one, what, about three miles? And already I'm like, just show me the light. Where's the light? So we've just pulled in to a little water fill up because while we're passing, oh, my handbrake is not working. My brand new handbrake's not working. I told you it wasn't. Um, water fill up points, grey waste, uh, I don't know if there's black waste here, but so far they've been plentiful, haven't they? Yes, they have, yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's, I think it's even better than France yeah. for water fill up and stuff. And we all know France is very good for that. So. Yeah. so very impressed so far by the services and most of them are free or the charges aren't even that high, no. are they? No. Some water. Lovely. So I always use my own hose at those places. There is always a hose supplied, but there's not often um, water for the black waste and people do use the fresh water hose. So I do try and use my own. Can I go? Go, go, go. We was gonna try and stay there, but there's absolutely nowhere to walk the dog. It's right on the edge. So we're in the area. It's called, let me try and read it off this time. Prike stolen, Prike is stolen. <laughs> uh, but it's the pulpit rock hike and that's what we've come for. But nearly all of it is no parking or like uh, 25 quid for parking. But you can't stay in those overnight. So it's 25 quid just for day parking. So there is one on park for night, the opposite side. But it does say it's a very steep, single, narrow track road getting up there. I'm not looking forward to that. We have just filled up with water. We're in another tunnel. Uh, and we've got three quarters of a tank of diesel, so we're heavy, and that's, I'm more concerned about the incline than it being narrow. Look at the view, though. We've got to go over this bridge. Over that bridge. 
Now I know, but look at the view we're going to get off the side of it. Oh, look at the Pretty special, isn't it? Pretty special. So driving in uh, Norway is quite dangerous on account of the fact that keeping your eyes on the road is incredibly difficult. Another tunnel. It is stunning. Oh, he was not happy with you. Uh, he drives a BMW, so it seems it's uh, universal. BMW drivers are <laughs> in all countries. Who <laughs> Oh, come on, I'll lose a few BMW subscribers, but it's all right. <laughs> A tunnel? It's only going to be a little tunnel though, right? Oh, it's getting steep now. So this is it, we're committed now, we're on the single track road. Oh, come on, you'll get through there, you get tanked through there. Jake, look at him, he's got about nine foot. Oh, okay, yeah. Give it a rest. It's making your power though, that's why. It's made me stop on a hill, come on, come on. Yeah, we're committed now, so we're doing it. So we've got about 10 kilometers, I think, to get to the top, so. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's only a little one. It's a little tunnel. Look at that. Oh, it's a cool tunnel. It is a cool tunnel. <laughs> so far though, it's not a bad road because there are quite a few passing places, doesn't there? Yeah, it's been alright so far. I just hope that there's a space at the top because I don't think it's a big park up, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. Cameras I've got just aren't gonna do this place justice, but I will oh. I will see if there's somewhere to pull over to get the drone up, but I don't want to stop in a passing place. It's it is it's just ridiculous. I'm like around every little bend you're like wow oh my god and it's just rocks but it looks stunning. Get the drone up, you need to see this. we can make it in this. <laughs> so we've got about a kilometre to go and so far it's been actually a really easy drive, hasn't it? It has, yeah, and a really pretty drive. It is stunning. We have been up much steeper and much worse in our time. We have indeed, trust me. You've not even had a twitchy bum moment, have no, you? No, it's been all right, actually. Well, I've still got a kilometre to go, so... Look at that. It's insane, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You keep your eyes on the road. I will keep my eyes on the road. Oh, it's going to be a first gear turn, this one. Oh look, she's cruising up here. We're in third now. No, we're back in, we're going back into second. <laughs> oh, please be a space, please be a space. Go on. There are jerk balls. I think you're pushing it. Oh, it's another first gear one. Is that well, second, on? I thought that was in the... Down. Well, he's on a flat bit, so if you make me stop going up here, that's it, good man. Give the people the opportunity before you like. Oh, well, I'm just so used to people just like stop making the stupid. Off. Look at that view. Right. Now he's on the road. Oh, please be a space. I think there's I think a space. There I think, I think there's a space. Loads of room. And there's a toilet. Bonus. This yeah. will do Monge too. Now, you're not going to let me park on the edge, are you? Uh, no. this carnage in here what's been going on 
You live here, that's what's been going on. You live here and you've been vegetating all day. Well, I certainly didn't make any of this mess. We all know that's a fact. So this park up is absolutely stunning. Summer in particular loves it, doesn't she? Oh, she's loving it. She just wants to be out the van all the time. Probably like scratching at the windows, everything. She's just, yeah. So we've had a bit of a work afternoon, which is why the van is a tip. There's camera stuff and all sorts everywhere. Emily's been cooking. We've got, what have we got? Homemade crustless quiche. Crustless quiche, because we are on diets. Although the Nutella biscuits that I scoffed after my nap will not do me any favours. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we are going to hike. We've gonna we've been and sounded it out with AJ and it's quite it's not too long is it? Mm -hmm. So it's a nice walk but when you get to the very end it's a bit of a scramble. So he's knackered out. Summer's been out all afternoon. I'm convinced there's some sort of snake or something she's after because she's just not let it go has she? No she's not. It's just sitting there. We're gonna have some dinner and then we're gonna take you lot to look at pulpit rock from the opposite side. Yeah I think that'd be more interesting. It's going to be way better than being on the actual oh, side. Oh, yes, exactly. I don't know, actually, I'm quite full. <laughs> I bet you're telling you finish it. Yeah, I think you're probably right. All right, you ready for this hike then, missus? Put him first. <laughs> for God's sake. The majority of this hike, or at least the first half of this hike, is much like this. It's just a gravel road that takes you up really easy. Bit of an incline, but nothing major, is it? Yeah, no, it's not too bad. It's a nice, steady start to the walk, actually. It's steady, unless you're walking with Emily, and then it's never steady. But we are in a rush, because as you can see, the sun has come out. It is now quite warm. It's late, it's like 8 o'clock, but because it's the sun's still so high, it's pretty warm. So we've left the German couple in charge of our van so that we could leave the windows open and leave AJ and Summer inside. They weren't too keen, uh, so we're going to be as quick as we possibly can and show you what's up here. If you don't fancy doing the scramble that we're about to do, which is going to take us right up there, I think, then the views from the road are pretty special on their own. Uh, we've had to make a change of plans. Now, the weather here in Norway is unpredictable, to say the least. So we were originally going to stay at this car park for a couple of nights because they gave rain tomorrow. In fact, they give rain every single day for the next two weeks. But they've been giving rain every single day for the next two weeks since we got here, and so far we've only had one day, haven't we, of bad rain? Yes, yeah, that's it. But the sun can come out like it has tonight at any given moment, and they're now going from 15 and raining to 28 and sunny tomorrow, so we're going to scarpa and see if we can find a park up by some water. Now that is going to be good. Because 28 and sunny, we can't cope with that in the van with AJ in summer. No, straight into the water we go. They my troubles to rest smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Let me somewhere else No one's stopping me now Even though it's summer, everywhere is still boggy So I'd recommend you bring proper shoes What do you call them? Sensible Sally shoes. Make sure you bring your sensible Sally shoes because it is boggy, wet and muddy and the paths aren't made. They're like very uneven and rough terrain. What we noticed on the couple of hikes that we've done is there's bricks dotted about with paint marks on them to help you find your way. So let's hope we can follow them. There's another one. It's like, it's like a treasure hunt. It's like one giant scavenger hunt, isn't it? Yeah. So it's definitely steep, not one for the unfit at all. It's definitely tough and it's really hot. And what's making it tougher is because Emily's panicking about our van being left down there with all the windows open and the dog and cat in. We are what, running up this hill? <laughs> well, I don't believe we're running. We're just, we're walking with haste. So I don't know if you're about to see, obviously we've got dog and cat cam on, or what do we, are you named it to AJ cam? AJ cam. Oh, it was called Fanny cam. When did you <sighs> rename it? <laughs> Probably when I saw that. Um, but yeah, we can check they're in there safe. But obviously as we get higher up, I'm imagining signal to disappear. Although to be fair, we're in the middle of nowhere and we're still getting decent upload and download speed. So it's mind blowing. Yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, and the cam, we actually get notifications as well when there's movement, so that's all to get. It used to say, uh, they, Neos Smart Cam has noticed movement in the fanny, which is quite funny, but now you've ruined it. <laughs> I don't think I've ruined you it. You ruin everything. You ruin all my innuendos. Good. With your negativity. Good. Get on board. <laughs> no, I have been. I can only do so much, people, so much. So this is where I might get my advantage back because we've got to start the scramble. <laughs> they're a bit high, aren't they? Yeah, they're just a little bit. I feel that this is probably the closest I'm ever going to get to rock climbing. <laughs> Go on then, little legs. Oh no. Now 
is what I had in mind when they said Norway. Here, leg up. A man came with a baby on him earlier. But don't get any ideas, I ain't carrying you around on a fucking chest support. <laughs> So I think the goal is to get up there to that point, but what's the views like the other way in? Pretty stunning to be fair. It's in the clouds. That doesn't sound right. I mean like you're eye level with the clouds. <laughs> you look like Perry. Oh my god! <laughs> you thought you was all cool, didn't you? You've been caught out. Damn it! <laughs> Because I couldn't see coming up the steep bits. Also, you may have noticed I've switched to phone cam, and that is because I'm finding this quite tough now, and it's very rocky, and I don't want to drop the, the big camera. I've got a head rush, and I can feel my heartbeat in my ears, so yeah, we'll see you at the top. Hope more, maybe. Proper Dora now, aren't you? That is something else. Yeah? yeah. Worth the climb? Definitely worth the climb. Get yourself a wife who always helps you down. With long arms, look at them, look at them bad boys. Long arms and weird short stubby hands. Yeah, it's on wide, isn't it? I'm on the wide, it makes my arm look longer. I've got regular size arms. <laughs> oh, I'm not even joking, the sweat is like disgusting. You got a sweaty butt crack again? That's lovely. That's my leg. Well, we're in Norway, so it's only a matter of time before Thunder Clunge made an out in. Look at this. I'm also pleased to report that my seasickness hasn't now extended into kayaking because I would have been gutted, but it's pretty choppy out here and I feel absolutely fine. Now, I've got a bit of a confession to make. It's not the next day, it's the next next day. We lost you for a little bit. Hold on, one of AJ's dog leads does the trick for this. So you want a bit of a floating pontoon. And I know I'm in a lake, but it's half drifting if I try and sit still. So I'm just gonna attach myself to this. And that'll do the job, I think. Now it is a bit windy, so apologies in advance for any wind noise. And unfortunately we're right by a road, so you might be able to hear a bit of traffic, but this is one hell of a spot. So this is what you're attached to, this floating pontoon here. And how about that for a view? I might have already said that. I've probably already said that. So we knew it was gonna be warm yesterday. I think that was giving 28 degrees. So we left that mountain park up pretty early um, because it takes just as long to get down a road like that as it does to get up, because you have to pull over every now and again so my brakes don't cook because the van is heavy and it don't like stopping. Even if I drop down through the gears, even in first gear, I'm rolling off the edge if I don't use the brakes. So we made our way down and then we knew we needed to find shade Can you hear that crow? 
he's not stopping anytime soon. So we needed, we knew we needed to find shade, obviously for AJ and Summer, and we also wanted to find somewhere by water. Now it got up to yesterday, we was not expecting this here in Norway at all. 30 degrees is what he was saying. One bloke had a thermometer on the beach and he said it was 33. So we can't do anything in that kind of heat. So we find a space by water because then AJ can't have a walk when it's that temperature, but at least he can play in the sea. So yeah, that's what we did. We found this little campsite, cracking little campsite, really, really well located right on this lake. Just gonna pop you back down there. I reckon I might be able to get the drone out from here. So yeah, really, really chilled out day by the lake. Emily tried a bit of a, a swim. Unfortunately, the water temperature here is um, still very, 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 very cold. It's chilly. Right, now everyone says that cold water swimming is good for you. I think you're all effing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, if I go in that long tunnel, you've got to do this, or I'm not going in the long tunnel. Well, I've done the zip wire. Not for me, that was for the subscribers. This is for me. Come on. <laughs> the easiest way is to just go. Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> So yeah, that was our attempt at wild, well not wild swimming, I don't know if you call it wild swimming, uh, dipping, dipping in, didn't go well. AJ obviously loved the water, it was really nice for him to be able to play. A bit of fetch in the water, so yeah, he did that. This morning, Emily's back at the van, she's having a bit of a workout, it is the weekend, and as you can imagine, in Norway, when the weather's gonna be hot, because it doesn't happen that often, absolutely everybody flocks to the water. So this campsite was pretty well, crowded they shoved us all in down by the lake which was actually really nice because it had a bit of an atmosphere but when it's that busy it's not really you don't really want to start getting the drone out i'm going around with cameras everyone's here for a chilled weekend so we really didn't film very much we just had a really really nice time which is good because we've got a lot of miles to cover so it's nice to have a chilled day and to appreciate some warm weather i'm going to try and show you by drone but i reckon this is going to go one of two ways So that road that you can see on the screen now, that's the drive to this campsite. And let me tell you, it was something special. And over there, what you can see on the screen now, that is the campsite we're staying at. And you can't see Fanny because she's tucked in the trees, but I've definitely never done this before. Look at that, this country, honestly, it is flipping insane. And now we've got to do is land it back on the pontoon. Which, by the way, is moving. Whoa! <laughs> that is the most fun I have had in a while. But my God, it is bright out here and it is getting very, very warm. So we're gonna go back to the van, see if Emily's finished her workout, and then maybe have some lunch. Uh, there is one small problem. I've landed it where I can't reach it. What a muppet. <sighs> After all that poncing about in a kayak, Louise has had to go for a nap. So I'm gonna show you around the campsite. So two minute tour, let's go. 
but now this is Tiswell or Tysdale campsite. Don't quite know how it's pronounced. It was 300 knock, which is about 25, 26 pounds for night, no electric. And this is the reception area here. Cool little benches there. Loads and loads and loads of like sort of camping spots. Oh, oh, look. Giant chess. Definitely giant for me. Anyway, the best part that I love the most is the fact that it's got um, tumble dryer and washer and for 50 knock, which is four pounds and 12p, you can use both of them. Look, there they are there. And as well, is there someone in here? Hate this part. Look at that shower and toilet there. Actually, the best showers that we've had in a long time on any trip, and that is including the UK. They've also got some toilets and water so I could like hook up and stuff like there. Oh, playground over there. And also, they have these cool little hut thingies that you can stay in as well. And let me show you our little park up. This is definitely like a two minute, 1.30 tour, without a doubt. Here we are. Here and the piece de la resistance. Ah, hammock. Woohoo! So, Tiresdale Tisdale Park, 25 26 pounds with washers, dryers, showers, toilets, water hookup, right by the lake. Perfect. Two minute tour out. Oh. And just like that, we are back in the scenery. Now, Emily has got a very quick public service announcement for you all, haven't you? I have. If you do want to go out onto rivers and lakes, please make sure you check with the locals and know your emergency service numbers because there was a couple yesterday that got stuck out there and needed to be rescued. Don't just go out like this idiot without knowing. I had to message her and make sure she was okay. She was worried that I'd got lost because of what happened to this German couple yesterday. So yeah, there is a bit of a, t it is a bit of a tidal lake. So it goes that way and then goes that way and you can get sucked out. Um, but we are going to end the video there but before we do i just want to say a quick thing about pulpit rock because i realized i didn't really explain what it was i went on about it so it's this rock formation very famous here in norway one of the biggest most popular mm -hmm. hikes isn't it the park up we found on the other side you get exactly the same view but for none of the cost and with none of the crowd so we're quite pleased that we found that alternative didn't yeah we? it's better for us because we prefer to do things with less people about so yeah it was good yeah very very good so um emily will put that information somewhere i would think at some point you never know <laughs> but we are going to go so if you have enjoyed coming on a hike with us coming kayaking with me a campsite tour with emily mm -hmm. a drive through the norwegian mountains uh the floating picnic bench at the beginning oh there's just been so loads much. Yep. norway is only going to get more and more epic i think as we go up and i think this is probably the best country for van life we've been to so far without a doubt and i think after leaving here for us van life will never be the same again because it's just never going to be anyway she's jabbered on so much so if you did like it please consider hitting the subscribe button giving us thumbs up and dinging about and we will see you next time because someone's hungry obviously let's go <laughs>